Hey guys, I'm Dakota and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little different and we're actually going to refinish a table. And so for this, um, <clears throat> it's actually a very special table to me because it was actually the first thing I've ever spray painted and the first table I ever got. And so a funny story about this table is that um, I was actually going to family dinner at my sister's house and it was just a Sunday so we were going and we were hanging out and I was leaving and I had a friend with me and we looked next to a dumpster and we actually found this table and it was all black, it was all scratched up, the paint was all ruined and so we took it home and we sanded it down and we refinished it and it turned out really good but I've had it for so long, it's been almost two years now and um, I just decided that I'm kind of done with the way it looks and I want to do something classy and refinish it and make it look super nice. So we're going to start, I'm going to show you how the table looks now and then we're going to take it outside and sand it and going to actually start the process of just redoing the entire thing. Alright guys, so this is actually how the table looks right now. Um, it was the way I learned how to do all like the galaxy spray paint was practicing on this table. And so the top is like that and then the sides are actually all black with kind of like marbled legs. So after about two hours of hand sanding yesterday, we were finally all ready to start painting. Um, I still have the table all apart so I could do the parts separate. And I'm super excited because I think it's going to turn out super nice. guys today has been a horrible day for spray painting so um, I have the top all done right here as you can see um, and I finished the legs and as soon as I was done with them they got really windy and blew dirt all over them and so they are a mess right now so I have to actually redo the legs entirely and so it's killing me I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna take them inside Wait for them to dry actually, sand it all off, and then I might just hand paint it because I have white paint. Um, because they didn't turn out so well. So we'll see how I fix this. Alright guys, so we are on day three of working on this table. And um, it's really nice out today. 
But after yesterday's issue of spray painting and everything falling over and ruining the legs, um, I'm actually going to uh, take some paint stripper and I'm going to completely strip the legs of all the paint that's been on them. And I bought a little quart of white paint. I'm gonna hand paint them inside instead, just so I don't have to deal with um, another issue and so I don't have to worry about spray painting. And so let's just get this started. All right guys, so we have them all evenly sprayed and in half an hour we come out, use this fancy little thing and we scrape all the paint off. All right guys, so now we're gonna prepare to do a little hand painting on the top of the table. Um, the chalkboard top turned out so nice. I'm really happy with the way it is. It feels like a chalkboard and it's such a nice clean coat. I'm just super happy with it. finish the first coat of the white on the border and um, the legs of the table are now done so I'm gonna go test out and see how the stripper worked and try to take the paint off of those. Alright guys so it looks like all the paint is bubbling up on these so I think this is a really good sign. I'm gonna throw some gloves on and start trying to strip this all off. <laughs> Alright guys, so since I decided to make the top a chalkboard, I'm actually going to head to Walmart right now and I'm going to try to find something that I can nail onto one of the legs to hold like chalk and eraser and just so like you won't have to go out of your way to get the stuff, it'll all just be on the table. Alright guys, so I just got out of Walmart. It was a much longer trip than it should have been. And so I got this to hold the chalk. Um, I think this is gonna be super neat. I'm gonna go paint it. I don't really like the orange and white. It doesn't really match So I'm gonna probably paint it black Then I got velcro to put on this so I could stick it onto the table and it doesn't have to be permanently attached And then I also got these rags just so I could cut them up and use them as the eraser for the chalkboard All right guys, so we are back with the fourth and hopefully final day of painting this table Um, so far I think it's turning out really nice. I still have it over here uh, I'm going to go throw on some painting clothes and then we're going to pull off the tape and start painting the legs of the table. Alright guys, so now we're going to start on the legs of the table. Um, this is what they look like after I stripped them and so I think they look better because they don't have so much dark color on them. And I'm going to start, and I'm probably going to do like two or three coats of the white. Um, I'm just going to do, uh, take my time and try to do it right. Alright guys, so while the first coat of the legs dry, I'm actually going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it real quick. Um, I just want it to be all black, I think. Um, I might do all black. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just do all black. 
and then we'll be right back inside. guys so we are on the actual last day of this table i thought yesterday was going to be the last day but this paint took really long time to dry i'm going to do one more coat on the legs and then we're going to put it back together I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, it was super fun. It took a lot longer than I expected. In total, it took me like five days from start to finish to redo this entire table. But I love the way it turned out and I love that I could draw on the top of it so I could just like sit there and doodle when I'm bored. Um, thank you guys again so much. Thank you for all the love and support you guys have been giving me and I will see you guys in the next video.